Let's try a real life task then. I'm going to record a guitar loop. Okay, let's see what we've got. Well, the guitar. Now we are separating notes again. And in this case, this is split up into exactly six voices, because the chord was built out of six strings. You see, each note can be associated to one string. This is coming from the high E string, this is the B string, and so on. Now, we can do what we always could do with Melodyne, make it playback faster. or slower, or pitch it up. But you notice that at this point, everything is simply transposed, the same as if I had placed a capo on the guitar, and not like I had changed the positions of each finger individually. So that's not what I actually want. Instead, I would rather want to grab single notes, Let's say this one here. Or I like to recompose the whole chord. I'll let it roll now and play different chords on the keyboard, forcing each note to be moved individually on every string. Well, you can process all kinds of material with this, especially all kinds of polyphonic stuff. But it's mainly meant for single instruments, which you can play chords with, like a piano, a guitar, a harp, and so on. In the studio, you normally record these instruments on separate tracks, and just like with monophonic instruments and Melodyne before, it is now also possible with polyphonic instruments to individually edit the separated notes in each track. And you may also take a group of instruments, like a brass or string ensemble, where the sounds are pretty homogenous, and record this group to one track on which you can still separate and edit every single note. But what the program doesn't do is to identify voices or voice progressions. So what you get is more of a kind of piano score of the whole piece, rather than a score with individual instruments. On the other hand, why not take a whole mix with drums and everything? It can well be possible to change the whole song from major to minor. Only, the more complex the signal gets, the more complicated it will be to separate and process everything properly enough. But no one keeps you from at least trying any material. The situations for using this technology are endless. The first thing, obviously, would be the correction. That's what Melodyne is mainly used for already in the studio. When somebody played a wrong note, you now don't have to stop the take. You just keep on rolling and repair the track later by retuning this wrong note or deleting it. This can now also be done with polyphonic instruments like piano, guitar, or others. One other thing would be to retune a guitar after the recording has been done. No problem, as long as you recorded this to a single track. So these are typical situations where you insert the Melodyne plug-in on multiple tracks in any digital audio workstation to individually correct several instruments after the recording has been done. The next thing would be to use it for composing or arranging. Just take any pre-recorded material, any guitar loops or piano accompaniment, and bring it into a complete different context by completely rebuilding and adjusting its harmonic structure. 
und das harmonisch völlig umgestalten, so dass man seine ganze Bibliothek, die man eigentlich Think of all your useless old libraries. Suddenly all these sounds can gain new life and can lead you to new compositions. möglichen Harmonieänderungen, Anpassungen und so weiter. These scenarios are showing completely new fields of application, and we don't know yet what else will happen with it. So I'm pretty excited and curious to see what the users will do with it and what feedback we're going to receive. Let's see what comes out from this.